everyone from Margaritaville Orlando Resort here in Kissimmee, Florida. Tonight we are going to be having dinner over at Sunset Walk, which is like the Disney Springs over here in Kissimmee. We will be dining at Estefan's Kitchen, which is Gloria and Amelia Estefan's new restaurant here in Kissimmee. All right, let's head over to Estefan's Kitchen. We'll see you there. Pretty clever. I like that. 
Jared ate the pork before he realized. <laughs> yeah. Yep, the pork one disappeared before I realized it. That was good. Yeah, it looks like that's pretty good. Right? Mm -hmm. just about does it. He's not done yet. Well, he may take a little while with that last bite, but it'll go down. That ain't the last bite. Well, sure it is. There's nothing on that plate but gristle and fat. Double the bet. Oh, God, no. No problem. <laughs> now you gotta shove some churros down there. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get a better churro in uh, Orlando, Central Florida area. No, I hope it's small. Small? Try it. I hope they're like... Churro bites. Yeah, little guys. Maybe like three, three inch long churro. Yeah, yeah. A churro simpler. <laughs>
so we just got done our dinner at Estefan's Kitchen over at Sunset Walk here in Kissimmee at Margaritaville Orlando Resort in this general area here. Um, we got the empanadas to start with, so there was beef, chicken, and pork. We got some mojitos. I got the um, luxury mojito, which is Estefan, uh, it's Emilio Estefan's uh, mojito, and you got the traditional mojito. Yep. Your mojito was not sugary enough for you. We make mojitos it's, it's, at home and fine. we make them very sugary. I'm sure it's it's more in tune Authentic, with, yeah, yeah. Authentic mojito, but it's fine. And then um, mine was really, really good. It was crisp, it was clean, it wasn't sugary. Sometimes when you get a mojito out at like Cheesecake Factory or another bar, um, they're very, very sugary and my stomach gets really upset after drinking just one. I could have drank many more of these, but I didn't. Um, yeah, they were strong. I mean, they, yeah. they, but they're refreshing. I mean, they're 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 not. Yeah, on a hot Florida day, that would be really really good. The empanadas were awesome. Um, you had you ate the pork. I didn't eat any of the yep. pork. Yeah, it was all nice tender meat inside. Uh, the chicken and pork was both shredded uh, protein, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like you know ground up. You know who knows what's in it meat. Um, you know it was really obvious to tell you were eating pork and you were eating chicken. Uh, the beef was not the, shredded, however... It was a star of the appetizer. It was, like. it was a ground uh, beef, but it was seasoned really, really well. So it was like, kind of like a Sloppy Joe style, but yeah. I wouldn't say Sloppy Joe in a bad way. No, 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 no. Like, not like cafeteria was, Sloppy yeah, Joe. Like, this was, was really good. It was really flavorful. Um, Juicy, like just... Yeah, just and the pastry was light. Light, very light. And... Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a nice appetizer. It was $11 for three of them. And they were it was, good size. Yeah, they were really good. It came with the side of a, uh, I thought it was kind of another vinegary. It was a barbecue uh, sauce. Barbecue sauce. It you said like a sweet More like a Carolina yeah. barbecue sauce. Yeah. Um, but, but all in all, it was, a, it was, it was a solid appetizer. And then for my entree, I got the house special, which is the churrisco. Chur is that how you say? Churrasco. Churrasco steak with chimchurri. Yep. With chimchurri, it was delicious. It was absolutely amazing. Um, blew my steak away that I had for lunch um, over at Frontera Cucina. It was this was just beyond anything I could have imagined. And then the chimchurri sauce was really, really good. She had it, said it had cilantro and olive oil and garlic and it was just fantastic all around um and then there was like a sweet sticky rice with it and some beans the rice was cooked perfectly um and then you had uh it was a i can't remember the the specific cuban name it was a via cata i'll put it in something like that yeah but anyway it was it was basically like a, a shredded pot roast um and then what i think they do is they take it and then they pan fry it in like a hot oil um gives it a little bit more of a, like a crust on top of some of the pieces and that was um, the best part of it it was like you had this tender pulled meat and then this nice crust yeah. on the top that had all the flavor soaked in yeah so you know it was a nice flat iron skillet full of uh you know that meat and then they uh finished it with uh some fried onion straws on top of it and also some kind of like partially cooked red onions yeah. which i'm a big fan of red onions um and i like raw onions because i like that <laughs> snap like i actually kind of prefer like more of a raw onion as it is so those onions gave it a really nice flavor too um mm. on the back end so uh yeah i, I was really pleased with mine as well um and, and then, also got rice with mine yeah, and, yeah. and beans um so uh but yeah it was it was very good i would definitely go back and get that again and then your dessert was your three churros four churros yeah no i think it was even might have been five in there they yeah. weren't full size but they weren't they weren't extremely <laughs> large in diameter so um long. but they were <laughs> like six, seven inches long a piece, so, mm -hmm. and Janine doesn't eat them, mm -hmm. so, and I, I love churros. I'm not a dessert person, um, so. But yeah, it was really good, it came with three sauces, and we're gonna have to look up what the third sauce is, because it was, 
the thing about this restaurant is they have live entertainment which is awesome which is great but it's, it's hard. very very loud i mean it is you know it's hard to hear each other it's yeah. hard to hear the server um you know she did a really good job of coming over i'm already hard of hearing i just have a hard time with like background noise which that's what you know live entertainment is we we love the live entertainment don't get me wrong it's just when you're trying to hear like what's in your food and all the different things when yeah. they're they're bringing out food and they're presenting it and they're like this this and this and it's like wait what or if you're trying to <laughs> ask a question and it is mm -hmm. and i mean we 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 were originally sat close to the stage literally like almost on um, the stage <laughs> and there wasn't anybody performing on stage when we arrived mm -hmm. but there was somebody playing the piano and they basically play it through speakers throughout the the restaurant and this table that they sat at so tried to sit us down at literally had like six huge speakers right above the table and Janine and I both looked at each other like we're too I old for this I can't, I, can't, <laughs> I can't do this and we've been up since 3 a.m. Yeah. I mean, this was our arrival day yeah. so you yeah. know it's seven o'clock we're both kind of like ready, ready to just kind of like yeah mellow out and calm yeah. down I but anyway I mean we, we sat in the overflow area which was in the back <laughs> Um, it was relatively quiet. They have a TV back there um, that, that you can still see the stage yeah. area and stuff, but they kind of have it like uh, broadcast on, on their, you know, an internet work or whatever you want to call it that, you know, you can see the, the entertainers on TV. So, mm -hmm. um, but and you can absolutely still hear it too. I mean, in fact, yeah, you're not missing out on yeah, anything. No, no matter where you sit in the, in the restaurant, you have a great seat. Um, it's just how close do you want to be to, you know, the action, but back to your churros. There was three sauces. Right. One was chocolate. So one was chocolate. One was more of just kind of like a, I don't. I wouldn't call it a vanilla, but just kind of like a frosting, yeah. um, like a toast. If, if anybody's familiar with toaster strudel, yeah. the little packets that does, that's in the toaster strudel, that's what it was. I mean, it's <laughs> it's freaking good. Um, and then whatever the other one was was I don't know if it was like a real light raspberry type. I mean, it was very light and reddish or pinkish color. I couldn't really pick up on it, but I didn't really care for it. So mm -hmm. I didn't really eat any of that one. I kind of just dipped between the uh, two. Yeah, the, the, the vanilla, if you want to call it, or frosting, and the uh, chocolate, which which was very good. But they were awesome. He said they were some of the best churros he's had, other than like what he's gotten actually in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, look, they're they're not like you know 100% fresh made right out the gate, like, but they're they're a good churro. I mean, like I said, I I I love churros. I just I don't know. I just I'm not a big dessert person, but yeah. I really enjoy churros. I guess just because cinnamon, sugar, and grease and yeah i don't know but overall we had a great time yeah our um, waitress um, oh my gosh stephanie yep our waitress was yeah. really really good stephanie was one of the best waitresses we've had like in the central florida area in a long time and i know right now with everything going on it's very hard to find good help um and a lot of staff in restaurants are overworked and not able to give their attention to the table but she was on top of it um, I asked all kinds of questions because I really wanted to make sure we had like an authentic experience, you know, well, what's the, what do you recommend, this and that, and she was great. I mean, with every recommendation and every tip that she had um, was, was wonderful. And we were never without a drink or food, um, yeah. you know, everything was cleared, you know, we never yeah. had piles of plates on our table. Yep, and she didn't hover either. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the other direction that sometimes yeah. waiters and waitresses can go. They can be a little too attentive where it's just <clears throat> constantly uh, like uh, just trying to eat. So yeah, she was, she was a really good waitress. She was great. And you know, I know that um, a lot of people are familiar with bongos from Disney Springs or it was downtown Disney's west side. It was the large pineapple over there I grew up going to that restaurant they closed a few years back and now um, they've moved their location over here which is now Estefan's kitchen it's a little bit different it's not that white tablecloth experience but it's a really really great dining experience um, that I think is definitely worth making the trip out here to Kissimmee um, to experience not only for the amazing food and service but also if you love live entertainment I mean they they really put on a great show the whole time we were there someone was performing um between the dancers on the stage the, the bongo players the piano player um and it was a great mix of some you know latin music some popular music from today some adult contemporary it was just a, a great mix of things but it's a beautiful restaurant um very very nicely laid out 
um, but yeah. Yeah, vegan options too. I mean, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, they have a wide array of options. Um, like I said, there was a vegetarian place and um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it was overall, it was really good. And if you've never had Cuban food, I mean, it's definitely something to try. Nothing was spicy, nothing was like, you know, foreign and scary. Um, I'm a super picky eater. I'm not very adventurous. I've, I've become more adventurous over the years, but <clears throat> you know, if you're on the fence, definitely give it a try. Read the reviews on Open Table. The reviews are great for a reason. Um, more people need to know about this restaurant though because in the future, you know, even if we're staying in Disney and not over here at Margaritaville uh, Orlando Resort, we will definitely be making a trip back out here to Sunset Walk to check out Estefan's Kitchen and we recommend you do too. So thank you guys so much for traveling with us and we'll see you next time. Bye. That's what I did for my clear picture. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my clear picture. I tried to is do, terrible. do an I Love Lucy picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very excited to see what Bonga or. <laughs>